Insurance.com. Hi, well, I'm here with Connie Field, and we're going to be looking at documentaries tonight. I love documentaries. Yes, and what's great about the lineup that you have is that every one of those documentaries is a different documentary form, especially Araya, which is, I think, one of the most beautiful films I've ever seen. Yeah. And in Harlan County, that's what we call Veritate, and those were cameras you could carry around and go in the field and just follow action and what was going on. My film, Rosie, fits in what I call the oral history tradition, mm -hmm. told by the people who lived it. Mm -hmm. And Portrait of Jason was the only film at that time that was a single character portrait. Shocking. It's, yeah. it's pretty startling. Yeah. Well, talk about an arc of film. Yes. Okay, well, we're going to talk about your film, Rosie the Riveter. And this is a film which is really exciting. It's been in active distribution for 35 years, so mm -hmm. that must be every filmmaker's dream. And it's also been preserved, uh, National Film Registry, so that's another fantastic honor. Mm -hmm. But um, one of the things that I loved about the film is that it's a different perspective on history, and one of the themes that we've been talking about in the show is how often women get cut out of the history books. And what I saw is the propaganda films that you show in your movie, but I never really saw the, you know, the the amount of work that women were were doing in the in the in the war effort and the way you concentrate on the five women uh, was ve was very poignant and it it felt like it meant a lot for them to be able to tell their story. Actually, it did, and it, that one of the things that one of the most wonderful things about making this film was you really felt that you made these women mm -hmm. feel that their lives were valued. Yeah. Okay, so. which uh, people, nobody had made them feel that for being part of that story. Mm -hmm. And and I interviewed a lot of women. Yes, you interviewed how many women? Well, I, I 750 on the phone we did all mm -hmm. over the country. Then I we did... Uh, taped cassette interviews with 250. Then I did videotapes of 40 right. because I wanted I wanted characters in the film that the audience would love. Yeah. So and I wanted them to be representative of kind of larger trends like mm -hmm. who the women were, where they came from, what jobs they were doing before, what mm -hmm. happened to them afterwards. And so it was kind of like the biggest casting job in history yeah. but what was great about that is you you left all those lives feeling valued yes it's great because you only concentrated on the five women mm -hmm. you really get to know their story and they tell the story uh, for everyone well I had so few women in the film because I really wanted the audience to get to know them and for the film to be very personal Yes. that way mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's and the films um, it's not only just the wonderment of seeing women doing all those kinds of jobs that you didn't ordinarily see but the propaganda films are amazing yeah. and hysterical yeah and it's um, so and the difference between the films that got done in the 40s when they needed the women and they wanted bring them into men's work and then what got done at the end of the war and into the 50s where they wanted the women out of the labor force and into the home. Mm -hmm. It's all reflected in these films. You can just see it clear as day. Well, again, it brought it brought me back to, as I said, the fabric of America. Of course, you you, you see the people get, you know, get going off to war, but you never see the people, what life was like when they were staying home, but mm -hmm. yet they were still fighting the war and it was very eye-opening in that sense of knowing, you know, how everybody in America, you know, was working together uh, to, you know, to, to fight World War II. Well, that was like the last good fight yes. we've had in America. <laughs> yes. Well, we're going to watch the movie and we're going to talk about it afterwards. From 1980, here is the TCM premiere of Connie Field's The Life and Times of Rosie the Riveter. Mm -hmm. 